Okay. It has been a while. It has been a while, gamer. It's been a while since I streamed some Genshin. I've been busy. Make sure it's all good. I'm not going to try and bait you guys. I'm not going to... Probably not going to get Hu Tao. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I'll do a couple wishes on her banner, but I don't really want to spend a crap ton of money. <laughs> um, Just making sure we're all good, gamers. We are going to do our story quest, though. Okay, seems like we're good. What's up, Sushi Squad? We back for Genshin Impact. Check this out. Sure. Shut up, Zhao. Zhongli, I mean. Shut up. Shh. So, uh, we've actually got a new character in the game. This is uh, going to end up being... Let me open the banner. Hu Tao. Uh, rule of thumb. I, I gotta give you guys a pro tip here with Genshin. Always wait for the waifu characters because for some reason they just make them way stronger than all of the cool characters. I guess because they know their audience. Uh, apparently Hu Tao is absolutely like the strongest character in the game now ridiculous uh she's got some cool abilities and stuff like that but i don't really care and frankly speaking <laughs> i'm i'm not making like a crap ton of money off these genshin videos so it's probably gonna wi be a while before i end up uh spending a bunch of money on wishes and stuff we'll, we'll still do some wishes today but uh we have her story quest available as well so that's what we're gonna be doing today mostly uh and then possibly we can end up doing um, whoops, is that, oh, and, uh, possibly we'll end up doing, like, some daily commissions and stuff and weekly bosses and, uh, you know, just a normal chill stream. Uh, I figure we'll start with her, um, quest first and then, oh, I gotta do my ley lines today, uh, and then maybe we'll go for the weekly bosses. Oh, we can trial her out too. Okay, cool. That's right, I completely forgot. Well, you know what? Let's check it out. Why not? See whether or not they ended up giving her a cracked set for the uh, trial run. Okay, when Hu Tao casts her elemental skill, she consumes a set portion of HP and enters into Paramita Papilio state. Okay, let's just call it ghost mode. In which case, her normal attacks, charge attacks, and planning attacks all deal pyro damage. Sound like anyone? It's like Zhao, except it's doing pyro damage instead of an enemo, so she's immediately better. Uh, in ghost state... Hu Tao's charge attacks apply the Blood Blossom status to opponents periodically dealing pyro damage uh, comparative to uh, Child's uh, Riptide ability where he tags an enemy and then it causes water. So again, she literally has like all of the best abilities all culminated into one character. Like it's ridiculous. Uh, when Hu Tao casts her elemental burst, hitting opponents restores her HP. And when Hu Tao's HP is less than 50%, Hits deal increased damage and restore more HP. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the trial event challenge to facilitate the testing. Okay, well, anyways, here's the new character. If she put some pants on, then maybe I would actually care about her, but I don't. I <laughs> her trial character is literally just her, not even anybody else, because they know how stupidly powerful she is. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. And then, yeah, of course, she's got Staff of Homa. Uh, what set do they got? They got full legendary sets this time. Jesus. Uh, pyro, and then increase overload and burning damage. Why would that matter? Oh, because they're going to put a bunch of water enemies in our face to cheese it. Yeah, okay, so she's got a four-piece uh, set. No constellation. Who cares? Whatever. Well, that's a pretty cool combo. Her dash attack uh, is just Zhang Ling's until you end up casting, I think, her uh, RT. Now we dash through enemies, like Zhao's dash ability. So, ha, ha, ha. And you can literally just keep spamming that over and over again. Anyways, let's try her out. And, yep, there we go. Jesus Christ, she's probably... This might actually be the fastest attack animation I've seen in the game. Yikes, dude. I mean, these enemies aren't super duper strong anyway. Bonk. Oh, 
Oh my god. And her dash, too, when you first go into it, she's invisible. So, Zhao, more like who? It's so lame that they ended up taking, like, all the same mechanics from, like, these other characters and just combining them all into one. It just kind of makes the other characters feel, like, pointless, you know? So she seems to be a character focused on just charge attacks. So now she's at that 50% HP threshold. If everything doesn't die already. Bong. Yikes. That's probably the fastest ult animation in the entire game too. Jesus Christ. This character is ridiculous. I mean, I'll go, I'll wish for her a little bit. But if I don't get lucky enough to get her, oh well. <laughs> it's okay, because when they add characters from Inazuma and stuff, like, power creep is a real thing in this game. So, the whatever the newest character is, is always going to end up being the strongest. That's what gacha games do. I, I don't want to sound like I'm all complaining or anything. I'm just a little disappointed because it's like, you know, I went for Zhao because I thought he was actually a cool character. And then here's Hu Tao just shitting all over him. Like, I got her two times in 30 pulls. Damn, dude, you got lucky. Make her your main because you sure can. Okay. Uh, ooh, I got to... Yeah, I got to spend resin first, guys. Uh, unless I can make condensed resin. Oh, okay, good. That's right, because I ended up actually farming a bunch last night. All right, well, let's go check out her story quests. We'll, we'll do some wishes uh, probably at the end of it, just because why not? Wait until another character releases and try to get them and you get that character. What? Wow, words of wisdom. Oh, you got her C2? Jesus. What system is this on? Uh, you can play Genshin on PC, PlayStation 4 and 5. It's coming to Switch, and you can play it on mobile. Everything but Xbox, basically. It's not on Switch yet. Why did we come here? Paimon's got a bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm, I'm coming to eat you, that's why. Uh, not that Paimon's scared or anything, just, uh, concerned for your safety. You should be concerned of your own safety, Paimon. It's just this is how lots of scary stories go. You're in an empty place, in the middle of nowhere, there's barely any light, and then just when you least expect it, a stranger comes out of... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do something! Uh, okay, I'll kill him. Paimon's intuition says that anyone we run into here is going to be far from normal. If he gets us, he's gonna eat Paimon for sure. I mean, can you blame him? Who are you? Um, I'm a traveler. Traveler? Oh, no Are shit. You from one of the other nations? Um, mm, no, I've never seen your kind of attire before. Yeah, I know. It's weird god attire, and for some reason my belly button's showing. Could it be that you traveled from the other side? Yeah. I'm just here for a funeral. I don't mean to offend. No matter who you are, there's no need for any ill will between us. Seems he's just your average scaredy cat. He looks more afraid than Paimon. Well, you are kind of terrifying. Huh? I'm not. Paimon's super friendly looking. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hi, Spooky. Hi, everyone else. Uh, is this some Trove x Breath of the Wild knockoff? I mean, it's got nothing to do with Trove. Uh, it is completely Breath of the Wild knockoff, though, yes. Which is a huge compliment, because Breath of the Wild is one of the best games in existence. Changed my mind. We come in peace. I might stream Breath of the Wild today if I have time. I want to start that series again. I don't care. Uh, God uh, protect me. Um. No, no, no. Stop freaking out and stand still. Relax. Relax. Yes, whatever you say. Please stay your hand. He really is scared of Paimon. I mean, it makes sense. Look don't at her. Me closer. I mean you no harm. Don't. Uh, don't touch me. He's the next four-star character, actually. Hey, Paimon already said nothing's gonna happen. The funny thing, too, is I like how this quest is probably going to be way more interesting than Xiao's. Why am I chasing after him? This is just like what a killer might do. 
Oh yeah, it's definitely worth downloading this game, dude. It's free to play too, so why not? Hello. <gasps> director, director, there's a ghost after me. Oh. See, even the game question mark amongst, amongst her name. Who? <laughs> Don't get too excited. These are clients, not ghosts. I'm a client. Exactly. We said we're not ghosts. Why won't you calm down and let us explain? I have I seen her trailer. Did they put out like her full on trailer, or do you mean that weird animated one? Because I only saw the animated one, not uh, not one that represents her 3D model and in game and stuff. Although clients doesn't seem quite right either. Uh, yeah, forgive me. This is one of our new undertakers, Mung. It's his first time working a funeral, so of course he's afraid of his own shadow. Oh, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor! Zhang Li is a consultant there. They deal with this stuff a lot, right? I hope, um, I hope Zhang Li shows up in this quest. Oh, you know Zhang Li? Well, that saves me a lot of explaining. I'm Hu Tao, the current director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, responsible Who? for, uh, well, trifling matters having to do with immortality. A satisfying trade to be in, though, and Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is well known around town. Whatever the request, I'd be glad to hear it. Well, I don't think we fall into the category of client. Yeah, if we are looking for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's help, this is hardly the place we would come to. I'm gonna have to close the blind. I can see that I'm getting god rays behind me. Ah, oh, but you see, I wasn't referring to clients in the business sense. Everyone who enters this mortal realm will be a client of mine. <laughs> Sooner or later. Well, that's dark. Is it, though? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor welcomes advanced reservations. When you choose us, you'll never have to worry about what might be around the corner. But be sure to book the right date. Pro tip, it is a living nightmare trying to get flowers at short notice. <sighs> Speaking of dates... If you're struggling to decide, please do come and talk it over. I'd hate to see you still alive and kicking when your big day comes. Like, I, I know what they're going for, but honestly, her cheery voice talking about this is not, like, creepy. It just kind of makes it, like, not as epic. But then again, I'm a weirdo who really, really likes dark humor. So I kind of wish that she was uh, a little more evil. <gasps> Unpack here. Uh, that all sounded very bizarre. <laughs> You'll have to excuse her. The director is a rather unique individual. No, she sounds fine, dude. She seems absolutely normal. We'd heard that there have been some supernatural activity at Wuong Hill. To restore calm here, we performed a funeral ceremony. The only thing that's weird about her is that she ain't got any pants on. It went very smoothly. According to the director, we shouldn't be expecting any more issues in the near future. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Wuwang Hill, Funeral. What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wuwang Hill. You being here is not normal. Um, maybe your understanding of normal isn't quite normal. Adventure? <laughs> you must hail from the Adventurers Guild. Yep. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. Wood, to be precise. Um. Wood? What do you mean? That's just how we gauge our clients' importance. We have four levels. Wicker, bamboo, wood, and marble. The higher the grade, the better we'd like to get to know you. But I've just only heard of this. Well, that's because I only just thought of it. Oh, don't look so shocked. Oh. Oh, take a look. Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains, clearing domains, and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. Hmm. How subtle of you. Oh, touched a nerve, did I? No. I thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. No, I just don't. I just hate your guts, that's all. Anyway, I have a favor to ask. Recently, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. 
Uh, what's in it for me? Hmm. There we go. Let me think what I could offer you as a reward. Money. <gasps> or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? Uh, l join my party temporarily. Or let me wish for you and just get you because I don't want you. Ah, we're looking for someone. <laughs> We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. Is this game really quest based? No, no, no. Um, the quests are, I would actually say that the quests are kind of the side thing. They're still very important, but most of all, it's just to, to get to know the characters and stuff because you can obviously spend money to roll for the newest characters. You do get free rolls, uh, but it takes a lot of grinding to do so. Uh, the biggest thing about this game, I would say at first, is just exploration. Like literally like Breath of the Wild, you're just searching everywhere and there's chests and secret items all over the place. And it's it's a wonderful experience. And then as you get further along, you're doing quests, you start doing dungeons a lot more. And I'm kind of at the point where all I'm really doing is just the daily grind, just because I've pretty much done everything outside of this, which is new. This seems like something right up my alley. <gasps> I can even inquire with the ones who no longer speak for you. Uh, dead people? You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Why are you up here? Uh, when did we become your assistants? Like, Liyue Harbor's so far away. All right, whatever. Brian? funeral parlor. The ones who no longer speak. Okay, anyways. Expedition rewards. Uh-oh, I better grab those before I... Oh, they want us to go there anyway. Perfect. Uh, she's a weird one. Don't you have three side quests? Uh, the side quests are just the reputation quests. Like, that's the thing, dude. Like, look at how big this whole map is and everything. They're, like, and you gotta explore, like, all of it. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I absolutely recommend this game for sure. No, who tell... I'm trying to bring people back from expeditions, bro. Like, please don't talk to me. Ah. Oh, you again. <laughs> look, I told you. We're not interested in the kind of cooperation you describe. Come on. There's no reason to get upset. Look... One of your members is an avid supporter of my proposition. Uh, hear her out. Oh, since our last negotiation, I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. First things first, Longsheng Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurer's Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free, together with your first order. But that's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service covering almost all regions in Liyue. I'm now, shining. We do charge a slight premium for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but but don't you worry about that. I promise you, it's still very affordable. I mean, the thing is, we can just come back from the dead, so I don't know how her business is even doing well. I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little more, but our offer as it stands is already quite a good deal, don't you think? Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Who says that? Yeah, no. I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. Speaking of precautions, I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurer safe in the first place. It's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. Oh, yeah, turn your back to her. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, what would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? I see. This is why she's pushing her business so well, because it isn't doing well. Director, please, you did your best. We don't need another clash with the Millilith. Uh, if Paimon understood all that correctly, it seems... It's like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor services. Yeah, that's a guess. No more. Uh, yeah, nothing left to do here. Let's go back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I thought we were in the first place, but whatever. Hey, Azeroth. Hey, gamers. Rejecting a once in a lifetime opportunity. Okay, anyways, I don't care about you and being in my inventory. I need to bring these people back. Otherwise, I'm wasting precious expedition time. See how much easier it is to do that on controller than on mouse and keyboard? It's actually cool. weird. It's only a matter of time. Oh look guys, it's that character that's irrelevant now. <sighs> or Xiao. 
Wait, this isn't the funeral parlor. This is... What? This is like a bounty board or something. Hello? What am I doing here? <sighs> Seems like the old ways are the most reliable after all. Mung, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Nah, my apologies. I'm only about halfway through. Do you really think they will be effective? Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although, it is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. Fourth. If only we could burn them by the batch. Um. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about the special offer they advertise. Why didn't he just cut her off then? Special offer, though? <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? Business development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. Then I organized the Wangsheng Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. Um. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. Hey, Pickle. So now... I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like, buy one, get one free for the holder of this tile on them. I don't even know what, like, what the hell is she trying to sell? Is she trying to sell, like, tombstones or something? Because... <gasps> Second home, of course. Yeah, okay. They may not need it right away, but they can be sure that when they do, it will still be as good as new. <clears throat> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. That's the Long Sheng Funeral Parlor quality guarantee. No wonder you're on the middle of us radar. All right, Monk. Keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. She's pretty terrible at her job, huh? Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? It is true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. Oh. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. You're right. It's unfair. Hmm. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistants. I'll be back with you in a moment. It shouldn't take too long. Paimon already told you we're not your assistants! Um. <sighs> Guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. Let's look around while she's away. She's, like, right there, but whatever. Yeah, buy one coffin, get another one for yourself. Why not? A board used for hangings, the funeral parlor, blah, blah, special offer. Okay. I already know. I was right there. Wait, I can go inside this door. Oh, I can just examine it. Behind this door is the Wangshan funeral parlor. Oh, I thought... Okay. Oh, hello. You must be the director's new hires. Not us! We're just very curious about Wangshan funeral parlor and who tell. Well, I wouldn't get too who? curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. <laughs> she thinks we're ordinary. The director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Huh? Tactful? We should get going. Really? I don't think that she gives off any air of tactful at all. Like, she... Okay. Unless there's a secret plan here. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. See? Like... She's not trying to hide anything. She's terrible at this. <laughs> I love it. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. We want people to feel warm and fuzzy. But, Director, isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry? You want your industry to be successful? Be a little more respectful, you little brat. <laughs> like. That's old hat. We're a 
opening up new ground. She makes sales by killing people. Yeah, there you go. Now that's that's what I want to see. Why does Wangsheng Funeral Parlor need to open up? But <sighs> yes, director. Like if this was a video game with choice, that's how I would do it. Poor guy's giving up. Right. We should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. Like when I'm playing Red Dead and I see a random stranger on the road. I tie them up. I put them on the train tracks. They didn't deserve it. It's just because I'm a bad guy. We? <laughs> As in us. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. Stop adding little afterthoughts like that. It creeps people out. No, it doesn't. Just you. <laughs> just a joke. Sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present. For the moment, at least. Uh, it's good to think before you speak. Uh, lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. What about all those hundreds of hillichurls that we've murdered? Uh, oh, baseless fantasies. What we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. But I've seen a ghost. Oh, more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. Wait, what ghost? What are they talking about? They must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. Yeah, dude, she should get into the coffin business for Hillichurls, dude. She'd make a killing. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. All right. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Hey, Kerbo. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. Oh. <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. I've yet to see. No, there is the funny side. Why is my character so detestable? I love ragdolling and killing hillichurls and throwing them off cliffs, man. That's the humor of it all. I never thought you'd be <laughs> such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Director, wait. What about Big G? <laughs> Don't forget. Big G? Big G? Who's that? <laughs> We've been in Lele for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something Mung's been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Um... <laughs> like, is Big G a gangster? Hey there, little kitty. There we go. See, I got her some business. Right? Oh! See, he's fine. <laughs> All right, well, oh, this is Big G. Hey, Tubbo. Uh, sorry, who are you? Wait, why'd they call him Little Wu? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Is she going to say he's going to die because of his weight? Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Mm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Wow. Any aches or pains? Wow, okay, miHoYo. Whatever, bro. You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often, they're an omen of something terminal. This right here, I don't, I don't care. This right here is China and sensitivity versus America. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. Like, what are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Oh my God. Go find some other poor soul. Goodbye. Jesus, Mihoyo. Oh, and then he just faces the wall for hours. A few earnest health tips. Hyman thinks it's because they're coming from the director of a funeral parlor. No, it's actually because you're an asshole. 
there there you go i said it like what the hell dude like i tease these people like she's making it real dude i tease them because they're game characters and she's just like yeah fat shaming like what the hell dude who like and the thing that gets me isn't that like her in-game characters doing it is that somebody on me hoyo said yeah do it i hate fat people uh and you are be quick i'm busy busy doing what staring at the wall hello there would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the wangsheng funeral parlor wangsheng funeral parlor uh, oh god i'm not in need of your see services. and then now she's approaching the guy with glasses the nerd so she you know this is what mihoyo thinks of their player base right here so you're out here looking for new customers don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it go talk to old people not like hardly isn't this the fashion these days bring the service to the customer and all that i'm not sure it's every service that falls into that uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Yes. Yes, go away. Uh, another failure. Still, not the end of the world. Here, you know what? I'll help you out, okay? Curious. Does this approach ever work out? Oh, I thought I was going to die from fall damage. <laughs> I know your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. If you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. Yes. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. You really don't give up, do you? Um, am I going to roll for her? Yeah, I'll roll for her later. Uh, I'm not going to do too many rolls, like maybe just 10, 20 or something. Like, I, I don't really care about her character. If I get her, okay, cool. It means I'll have another character to build because she's like the strongest in the game. But um, I really don't care that much. Then again, I said that and that's how I got Ganyu. Uh, most of all, I don't want to spend like a bunch of money on her or anything. Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Am I? Thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Mm-hmm. How about you sell coffin to yourself? Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Enough business development. Please help me find someone. Business development? Is that what you see this as? Everyone does, except for you. Surely you don't think all that was business development. That's all it is. Then what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. No, I didn't. I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? Oh, <laughs> I don't recall. Big G! As it turns out, the Big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost adrift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. Okay. Um, I wonder what business development looks like. Why didn't you say so? Paimon thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, uh, people in declining health. Oh my god, even Paimon's part of the fat shaming. Jesus Christ, like, fuck off me, Hoyo. Huh? I need that kind of ability for I'm no doctor <laughs> were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng funeral parlor was going to start healing people or no I was trying to subtly imply that uh, never mind Paima wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand dumb uh, well let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng funeral parlor this big G matter is very closely linked to Meng okay anyways i'm more interested in big g like i that i'm all over like what big gangster like who the hell is big g and why is that a name in this game i'm scared bro if i do go uh gold credit card mode it's still only a 50 fit oh like you're just gonna roll for your five star but you don't have a guaranteed roll for her ah 
Do it, Pickle. You like her, right? Because you can literally play as Hu Tao and be like, do you need financial support? Mung, I'm back. <sighs> big smoke. Yeah, from GTA. <laughs> That's why B Big G, like... I was wondering why the name felt so damn familiar. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. <laughs> I've already. Who is oh, whoops. Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. Hi, Joe. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Why is this guy more in depth than Hu Tao? Like, Big G was one of them. Oh. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. We all know what that accident was, right, San Andreas? A gang fight. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. It was probably that terrible mission in San Andreas where you were on the motorcycle chasing that guy. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. Oh, grow up. Who cares? Like, what does this guy do with anything? I can't help but wonder. Did I disturb him somehow? Oh, God. He sounds so sad. Sounds like a tall story and uh, really short order. Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. Can this guy be the voice actor for like the next five star character? Because he's killing it, I gotta say. How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? That's why he joined Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. Yeah, I know. I fought them many times and killed them. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. What about the Geo Bishop? But are you sure there's no like danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Like, the, I, I think the thing that is so weird about this quest line is that they're trying to make, like, ghosts and dead people and spirituality like its own separate thing. When we literally have Zhao in our party, who is a fucking Yaksha, like... Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. Big G, Here Jesus are, Christ. Empty-handed. Wong Hill, childhood friends. <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Hello. Uh, it, sorry. Excuse me. Is this Wang Chun Funeral Parlor? Yeah, we all just stand out back here. My name's Lo Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Mm. Some of my friends and I went to Wuwang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon. Nah, man, you're just crazy. Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right? <laughs> oh. A serious one at that. <laughs> you believe so, too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end. Oh my god, she should sell coffins to him like right now because this guy's convinced, dude. The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales. Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is the best quest in the entire game just because it's got Big G in it. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Oh, sick burn, Paimon. Wang Chung Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me. I beg you. I'm too young to die. All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, 
In order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Um. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. Oh, are we gonna kick Big G's butt? I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the Big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. I wonder, like, is Big G gonna be a unique mob, or is it just gonna be like a lava troll or something? <laughs> like, they'll just make some excuse. It's like, oh, it's possessed one of them. Like... I can't wait to see what the hell it is, though. Imagine a quest becoming so funny because of two words. Yeah, dude, Big G. Not even two words. It's like a name. It's a word and a letter. Like, this is so... It's so cringe. I love it. Why did the grass just vibrate? Here, you know what? I'll help, I'll help you out with Big G here. First of all, let's get her some business. There we go. So, what mysterious rituals are you gonna perform here? I mean, we're just gonna hit that statue. I saw it before. No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Oh. Eh? Wait. You didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. Zhang Li's sitting in my party right now, but why are you here? You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turn into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. All right. Uh, now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. Oh no, Joe, you uh, you missed it earlier. Like she legit was fat shaming a character, like approaching him saying like, are you sure about your health? Are you sure you're not gonna die? Like the best way to do that it was weird and inappropriate. Show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. Oh, so we're just fake. All right, magic trick. Sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a three-year-old. How old are you, Paimon? Why would you ask that? Paimon just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth. Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. Oh. Like, I don't care. She's trying to say it all cutesy and stuff, but literally, like, if they if they just, like, changed her voice and her tone, she's an asshole, dude. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. How do you know it's imaginary? Like... Makes sense. But why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Look at the world we live in, Paimon. You're literally a floating specter. Do you know the history of the Yaksha? I haven't heard about it. They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world. Uh -huh, I know. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. Uh-huh, I know. I have one of those edgy teens in my inventory right that now. resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. Mm -hmm. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. No, it was a real thing. I literally just did Zhao's story quest, and it was it was a real curse. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was completely eradicated. No, it wasn't. I just did Zhao's story quest. I'm telling you. We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> Never knew Wang Shun had such a long history. So when I say this curse mm -hmm. is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real or it would incite panic. No, wouldn't they think you're crazy? 
Anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. Ah, uh, yes. A while later. Oh, you're finally here. We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. How much you guys want to bet it's Yambi Hillitrolls? Don't worry. The traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Mmm, you failed to... No, I want to say yes. Of course I want to fight. Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Why does he look so sad to fight? Will that really solve my problem? Yeah. Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo, but she's serious about everything she does. Jesus, she doesn't look like a weirdo. Like, look at... <sighs> How can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive? Disarmingly different? Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. When do I get to trial her, like, in the quest? Do I get to use her now, finally? Oh, right, I forgot Zhao's dead. All right. Really wow! <laughs> it's Hill and Charles! <laughs> it's always Hill and Charles, man! Seriously! All right, get over here, you little freak. I'm on you. Why is it always Hill and Churls, dude? This game is so mean. Hey, get away from that ley line. Dong. Oh, no, it didn't crit. Oh, fine. I'll have to use all my other characters' ultimate abilities. You see that one, Hu Tao, huh? Did the curse leave your body? No, he would actually be more scared after seeing what I just did. Uh, yes, I feel more invigorated than ever before. I'm cured. Like, I had a meteor come down. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the Traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Sure. Uh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 da. You've been pranked. It's gonna, sorry guys, it's taking me a minute to recover from that one. <sighs> Alright. Shake it off. Shake it off. Let's just go. Uh, what? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. <laughs> So riddle me this, if I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? The curse wasn't real? About two seconds ago she said not to tell them that, but okay. Then why was I sick? Y you weren't sick, you're an idiot. Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. I wonder, like, I'm reading way too deep into the lines, but I wonder if this has anything to do with the fact that China's trying to pretend COVID doesn't exist. <laughs> How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Uh, don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Ah, uh, yes, like the Samantha Cat and Trolls. When life is short, enjoy it while it lasts. Wow, I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. Mm-hmm, give us some money. I give me Big G. I to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. 
However, <laughs> unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. Who's what? What border? Whose antics? Just show me Big G, damn it! Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I hope Big G's a salmon troll. I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Um. Oh Big God. G. Big G. Oh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. Hey, Big G. This is Big G. He's just a child? Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. Yo, Big G! Well, let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. Yeah, we gotta dissect Big G! That's it, too? Like, not even, like, a boss fight or anything? What is with these story quests, too? Like, they're so lazy lately. The, the story itself, okay, cool, but remember in the early game when you got to do story quests and it actually let you try the characters? Because I do. Apparently the game doesn't remember. Let's dissect Big G's big brain, gamers. Oh, Big Gamer! That's what the G stands for. Okay. He died playing video games. So Big G's not an evil spirit? We've seen spirits before. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now for some reason, he can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Paimon, you're like from a god dimension, okay? Shut up. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Jesus Christ. He scared me. <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. Um. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. The music is so much louder than him. There, now it got quiet. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. No. Oh. A few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Oh, it must have been poor Luo Cheng that he followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Uh, I was discovered? Well, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Why didn't you come looking for Meng earlier? Yeah, Hu Tao and Meng were searching for you all over the place. Oh, well that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. So he's just been haunting people? Like, we're literally talking to this ghost during the daylight and nobody notices. We're not in, like, a back alley. This is also hilarious. Like, look at this situation right here. Look at this character's name. Big G. Like, it's, it's actually written there. Somebody typed that up. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. So maybe you guys left him there one time and he never found his way back and that's how he died. So all of this was just because you got lost? Why didn't you just fly? Like any other gooster spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? I can't. Yeah, Paimon, you're the only thing that can fly, dude. It's too high for me. I get scared. That's right, yes. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. What? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Good thing they didn't call you tall, G. Wah, wah, wah. I'm being put three dots. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living. And with so many people walking around Leo Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. So those things called good spirits? What? I didn't. What? I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> so... Now, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill. And we should be done and dust to dusted. So they keep talking about him not being an evil spirit, but I think he is an evil spirit. 
because he literally said the ley line called him and she just explained two seconds ago that it calls monsters and evil spirits so how would he have heard it if he wasn't an evil spirit wah, wah. but he just said he wanted to visit his friends apart from me there's also little Wu, Mumu, and Songza. don't let him haunt them well if that's the case we can't let him down We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Oh, okay. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wulong Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual. Then come and find us. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them. Yeah. Um, that's not a good idea. I want to scare them. Aww. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. Really? Because two seconds ago, you did the complete opposite of that when you, uh, you know, played into that guy's fears, pretended that the curse was real, and then said that it wasn't. Like, this character is contradicting themselves within the same line. <laughs> like, so be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Okay. Are really going with Hu Tao's plan? I, yeah, apparently we're going with her plan. I don't know. Hey, you know what? At least it's better than Ganyu's tax collection quest. Like, I guess I shouldn't complain. Hey, you remember us, fatty? Did you have a heart attack yet? <laughs> I'm playing into the game, okay? Oh, you. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor services anytime soon. Uh-huh. Meng said he's an old friend of yours. <sighs> yes. We grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. But he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Actually, he didn't, but... If you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. Typical Paimon. I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. Like... I mean, they're game characters, so it doesn't matter. But not to be insensitive or anything. Um... Big G is a little kid. You're telling me that none of these people moved on? Like, this is like over 30 years ago. These are grown-ass adult men. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jueyun chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. His childhood years? Th he died? Okay, whatever. Like, maybe... Am I insensitive or maybe I'm just stupid? Like, I don't even remember my childhood friends and they're very much alive. Deal. Just give us a minute. Like, what's a childhood friend? Okay, what am I doing? Oh, find chili and give... What? Oh, he just wants the chilies themselves. All right, I have 695 of them in my pocket. Here, you can have one. <laughs> Great, this should be enough. I'll get started on the Julia and Chili Chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down. When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Joe. Like you guys saying the chef doesn't have ingredients. No, he just doesn't want to do it for free. He doesn't want to use his own ingredients. I, oddly enough, I can agree with that. Great. See you later. I wish that I could go to someone and just give them the ingredients and then they'd make something. Uh, how did he know about the others? Imagine if that's how restaurants worked. You go to McDonald's, it's like, did you bring patties? Sorry, if it was McDonald's, it would be more like, did you bring bugs? Worms and dirt. Why would I be paying him for like his special big G thing though, Kerbo? Oh no, it's the nerd. Not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told me 
told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. Uh, come to think of it, I remember he did join Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. Canadian McDonald's sounds E. Oh, you mean good? Because, yeah, America's is even worse, I know. Uh, our ingredients are apparently really good here in Canada for McDonald's. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. Oh. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? Oh my god, this guy is so sad. How did you know? We didn't even say anything! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a businessman. I won't go spilling your secrets. Uh, did I say the McDonald's tasted bad, Joe? I don't know what, like, did, did you guys hear that? Is that what I said? I did not say anything about it tasting bad. I just said it was made out of bug guts. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. <laughs> I oh. heard the end of it when I set up shop. But I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Oh my god, this guy's story is so much, like, stronger than Little Wu and Big G. Like, this guy is so sad. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow, you must be, like, super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. Oh my god, he has so much more depth than Hu Tao. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for Little Wu and Songza next. And he's only got like a couple lines. Mm -hmm. We already saw Little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. I don't know how to pronounce anything Chinese, man, because I literally just see Kong Z and they're saying Songza. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. Kong Z. That's that's what I called them. Anyway, speaking of McDonald's. No, the McDonald's is actually... It, it's not bad out here at all. Uh, I did have American McDonald's at one point, And my god, it's got so much more sugar. Like, it's so much more sweet than it is here in Canada. But the best one outright... Oh, he's up top was uh when we went to japan oh my god the fast food was such high quality it was ridiculous like even mcdonald's was like it was fresh every time and it was actually like solid good ingredients and it was just like what please oh my god now i'm getting hungry for japanese food where the heck am i supposed to go okay i guess just up here i don't know how i'm supposed to legit get here hello oh they're all here Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Oh, that now, town! Okay. Friends are. Oh my god, this guy. I love him. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes. I make artisan Sal lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I wonder how she bought them, because mine expired. Ooh, this is getting weird. I've already spoken to the manager. <laughs> Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? All right, sure. Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. I mean, if mine didn't expire, I would have already had a whole bunch of them, but whatever, bro. That's cool. Oh my god, that's way further than I thought it was. Eh. Oh, it's the same in Spain, Azeroth? Huh. Yeah, I, I had never been to, like, other places or anything, but oh my god. Japan was just great, dude. Like, even the mall food when we went was just like, oh my god. Like, you get that takoyaki, which normally I don't really like takoyaki, but when it's actually, like, legit Japanese takoyaki, oh my god, it was so good. It's like squid balls, and it just, oh. Hey, we're here to pick up the plastrite shards for Sansa. Oh god, look how buff this guy is. I like him. I 
think he mentioned it. Uh, yes, here you are in the register, no problem. What is this guy, Goku? The plus dry shards are over in that crate there. Please, help yourselves. Oh my god, he's such a sweetheart too. I'm gonna go back to staring out into the wilderness. These side characters are so nice, dude. Like, they... They're the reason to do this quest. It isn't even for Hu Tao's story quest. You're doing this quest to interact with these beautiful people. They're all, like, so sweet and nice, and it just... Oh my god. Get shit on, Hu Tao. That's how I get up here, because I don't know how to get up here normally. Thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take. While this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. I mean, if it wasn't playing this happy-go-lucky music, but... As for the matter of Big G... The three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and... Among us. ...agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well. Oh my god! And that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. Oh my god! This is such a wholesome story, it hurts, dude! Like... Hu Tao sucks. These guys are the real champs. Thank you. We'll pass it on. Big G is lucky to have friends like you. We got everything we need. All right, anyways, time to fast travel across the entire world and have Hu Tao, like, insult us or something. <laughs> You're stupid. No. And then, and then give me the only choice to just, like, say something disagreeable. Because that's all they want the Traveler to do. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Red Horn Lizard! Yum! Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. Can I please, like, actually trial you and fight things? You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? Uh -huh. Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? I mean, I'm okay with her insulting Paimon, honestly. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes. So I guess they knew the deal. It's like... <laughs> like, if you can get past the voice actor, her writing is like an old uncle or something, you know? Like... <laughs> where it's like, did you spill the beans, Paimon? I'm kidding! As if that makes it, like, any less offensive, <laughs> like... Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, ghosts and goblins, everyone knows is you never know what to expect, which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story, which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. No, it wouldn't have. They would have sounded off their friend lovingly. Anyways, it sounds terrifying. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility, and I'm stricter than most. Mm -hmm. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? <laughs> of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. I mean, I'm down for that. I've already seen behind the curtain many times. And <laughs> where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. Oh, okay. I know what's going to happen. They're going to throw us into a custom domain so that we can't use her in the open world. Okay. All of it exists. Because they did it with Zhao as well, I think. The dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> you can't do that. This isn't Men in Black. So listen to everything I say. Let's go. See, like I told you, it's just condescending. Like, I'm scared. No, but Paimon. Like says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. Hell yeah! Let's do it, gamer. 
teleport waypoint unlock no we're going into the secret domain i mean hey at least we'll get to trial her out against level 35 enemies <laughs> This entire stream is Coffins and Big G. Dude, I just love the fact that Big G is, like, a thing. Wow, what is this place? Oh, God, why is my frames unstable in here? Excuse me? Oh, sweet mother of mercy. Just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. Place is beautiful, dude. God, I wish there was more, like, dungeons like this that you could do. Like, seriously. Uh, my AR is, like... You know what? Just teleport to the other side. Or not. Okay. As if they gave her the staff of Palma. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Uh, I'm AR-55. That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. Oh, what? just like last time. What? Just like last time? What are you talking about? Just like last time. There we go. That's so weird. Oh no, am I ever gonna actually get to fight something? What the? Oh. Hello, stupids. Like, I'm so frustrated at the fact that she's just better Zhao. The fact that she can even just teleport through the enemies with just like her charge attack, or her dash, I mean. And then here's Zhao, where it's like, oh, you need a constellation, bro. She's bared to Luke. Yeah, I guess that's true. She's the best character in the game right now, as far as I know. Wait, wasn't I supposed to heal? Oh, you only heal when you hit enemies. Okay, so she's got like a lifesteal going on or something. Well, bong. There you go. How does she... Wait. Does she scale nutty, or do they have, like, artifacts with cracked HP on her? Because she's got more HP than my Zhongli. What the hell? Can I not look at these artifacts? I want to look at these artifacts that they got on her. Wait a minute, they changed her set. Oh. Elemental. Yeah, she's using a full noblesse now. Okay. Max HP 14,000 off of these. What? Jesus. No, the Staff of Homa, uh, it does increase your HP, but still. Oh, and she's Constellation 3. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're really trying to sell this character. Okay. Uh, while her right trigger state is activated, um, Hu Tao's charge attack, do not consume stamina. Hello? Okay. Increase the Blood Blossom damage by an amount equal to 10% of her max HP at the time. Okay, yeah, okay. At the time of the effect applied. Oh. Additionally, is applying. Blah, 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 blah. And then increases that. Upon defeating an enemy affected by a Blood Blossom uh, that Hu Tao applied herself instead of other characters, I guess, or other players, all nearby allies in the party, excluding Hu Tao herself, will have their crit rate increased by 12% for 15 seconds. Jesus. Increase the level of spirit to yeah you know, okay and then uh triggers when who tells hp drops below 25 percent oh so that's the only okay um or when she suffers a lethal strike who tell will not fall as a result of the damage sustained so it's barbara basically additionally for the next 10 seconds all of her elemental and physical resistance is increased by 200 percent or increase is increased by 100 percent and her resistance to interruption is greatly increased this effect triggers automatically when hu tao has one hp left and can only occur every 60 seconds ek ska use me and 60 seconds is a joke that's like one fight and everything would be dead and then in 60 seconds she could do it again what the hell Yeah, so you just gotta wait for the waifu characters. You know what? All this means is that Ayaka is gonna be even more powerful than Hu Tao when she comes out. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm never gonna wail for a character like that ever again, so it's like, <laughs> I don't care. It's, that C6 is not gonna affect normal human beings, but my God.
He's got such a cool attack animation, too. Doesn't seem to have the best build on her. Oh, that does actually cause fire nearby. Interesting. Yeah, if you have C6, you don't even need crit rate. So you could just go all crit damage on her. Jesus Christ. Crazy, dude. Find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reactions. On your marks. You talking to us? I, I don't know what she's saying. All I know is I gotta bring these little spirit egg thingies. Her dash is weird. It's like it's like Mona's. Like they literally took like every good ability in the entire game and they just said fuck it and put it all on one character, dude. Like ridiculous. Oh, that thing. Uh huh. There we go. Um. Okay. The fact that she's also, like, on top of all the insane damage that she has, don't forget, she's also a healer. Like, okay. Not, maybe not the best healer, but the fact that she does have a heal on her means that you could rock her in a full DPS group and be fine. It pisses me off how good this character is, dude. Like, legit. Bam, bam. Okay, anyways, let's do some big boy damage. There we go. And now that I have the shield and the blossom actually going, instead of just trying to use her complete solo. Oh my god, that poor ghost, dude. Goodbye. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Like, and I, I, you know, obviously I'm not using a proper, like, elemental uh, reaction and all that crap. Not that I care. Elemental reaction is more, like, boring. But, it, Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's doing dot damage because when you trigger, uh... Her right trigger ability, and then you tag an enemy, it's actually just doing... Ooh, that's kind of fancy. Just doing passive fire damage. Which means that she also is insanely powerful for reactions, because that means it's constantly going to be applying burning. Like, they literally just put all of the best abilities in the game on this one character. Ridiculous. Even her dash is like the start of Mona's uh, dash ability. Except better than Mona's because it actually makes you like travel through enemies and stuff. Ooh. Okay, well, this is kind of interesting. Uh, this way, right? Oh, God. What if you came in here and didn't have enough stamina? I guess that's why they put... Because I think this quest... Like, her story quest is like AR-45 or something ridiculous, right? Or maybe even AR-40. Woohoo! I drowned myself. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying, dude. Jesus, though. Like, she's so freaking powerful, it's ridiculous. AR-40? Okay, yeah. Oh, you just jumped in with zero stamina? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of about to. She doesn't heal herself as well as I would uh, expect her to. Wait. Um, I'm confused. Okay, I clearly missed something back here, right? Unless I was supposed to grab something out of that cave? Ah. Uh, wait, or is this... No. Yeah, I was supposed to grab something. Okay, huh? well. Isn't this where we just were before? Uh huh. Okay, I need to heal. Can I please change? Cannot switch to character. Let me do it. Jesus Christ! They give her so much HP. 
ridiculous. Is this repeating or something? Maybe it's just because I was supposed to go left? No, I can't. Weird. Yeah, there must have just been something I missed. I'll try and keep an eye out for it. By AR-35, you should have max stamina. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Pick up the three and bring it around. Uh, you, then you get two things. Well, no, I know I gotta pick up the weird spirit thing. I just didn't notice it. Oh, was it back there? Oh. Well, my bad. I knew it was just some simple thing I missed. What in Tavet is going on? Have we even been moving forward this whole time? Shut up! I know it's just some tiny little thing I need to pick up. I just keep missing it, that's all. It's actually two places that look the same. Oh, really? The spirits have trapped us! Okay, then maybe they did all this on purpose. Yeah. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you set us up? There's something here. I don't think there's anything here, guys. I legit think I gotta just keep doing this. Yeah, I just gotta keep going. Like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm, I'm just gonna keep going through it, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys are insane. Here, I'll, I'll just get I'll just go through it a couple more times, okay? Just a couple more times. You you heard who tell. We just got to keep going through and then eventually we'll uh, get all the way to the other side, right? Yeah, here we go. No, here we go, guys. The spirits have trapped us. <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my See, and then we just gotta go through it a couple more times, okay, guys? Just, a, just a few more times. Just a few more. No, really. What the fuck am I supposed to be grabbing, guys? Like, legit. What? What am I missing? Because I don't. Get the blue flying thing and walk around. What blue flying thing? This right here? That's not a thing to grab. Oh, take. Wait, I can pick this thing up? I thought I already put. Oh. I thought I already put it there. Alright. I honestly wasn't even paying attention to that stupid blue thing. Yeah, I, I thought that it was like something in here. That's why. Like, I, I wasn't even paying attention to it. That's what I get for trying to be funny and not listening. <laughs> I'm just so distracted by how powerful this character is. That's all. She does not... It's just me. She seems to be a really slow runner. <clears throat> We're stuck. The spirits have trapped us. Nah, we ain't stuck, bro. Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross. A Shut up, Hutao. Really? I thought we were gonna be trapped in that weird place forever. That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. No, they don't. So that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. Okay. Dong, dong. That's the best way to dive off the edge. Just sprint off. I mean, that would have been pretty cool if I just dived off normally, but... This is a cool, uh... It's a cool dungeon, dude. Like, at least they went the extra mile of making it different. Even adding that weirdo puzzle. Like, the, the thing that caught me off guard is just that they didn't have anything like that ever. Welcome to the farewell ceremony site. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I know you're excited, so 
so feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Look around? Okay. Oh my god, I can walk off this. I was gonna just jump off. Holy crap. This place is beautiful. Can I go over here? Is there secrets? Ah, it's Barry Rice. Jesus, dude. Look at this. No, I don't want to leave the domain. I actually wanted to take a picture. But I don't have the... Oh, well, I do have the camera. Let me see. Eh. Cannot use in domains. Oh, okay. Screw it then. Okay, I'm taking screenshots with my normal program, but... Wow, dude. This place is beautiful. Hello, stupid. Are you clients? Apologies. This is just a little unexpected. What? Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd, it helps to pass the time. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. But if you two are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. You hear that, guys? You gotta confess your feelings. Otherwise, you'll never have a girlfriend. I don't care about zooming or any of these characters. Even though they probably have cool lore, I just don't care. <laughs> They're dead. It doesn't matter. Oh. It's well, this is creepy. Right again. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. You guys realize the lantern event's already off, right? Like, you're a little late. Yell it? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in. And nobody feels embarrassed anymore. Do little kids actually get embarrassed? I mean, the thing that is, like, so great about being a kid is you're not self-conscious, right? That's right. Oh. <laughs> that's your wish. That sounds great, you nerd. If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. To um. Big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Do little kids think about money like this? I thought that was an adult desire. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super expensive toy box. Not just one. One for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. Um. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind. And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah. That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Big G memory. That's the that's his name right now. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. Mom, Big G, what about you? Like they all have such normal Chinese names, and then there's Big G. Me? <laughs> Big G's wish. I want all your guys' wishes to come true, and I want to be able to live and see it. brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? Mm-hmm. They've come true. We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Mumu's a successful businessman. And Tsongzu makes great shell lanterns. Oh, I see. No, you know what, Pickle? I think you're right. I think they killed Big G in a sacrifice to make their dreams real. Because, like, a devil showed up. Like, Paimon shows up and she's like, If you want your wish to come true, kill Big G. 
Really? And they didn't hesitate. Wow. Oh. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Wait, what was his dream? To join the funeral parlor business? Anyway, time to release this lantern. And go broke? Hey, take a hint. What? What do you mean? Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. Oh, she wants... I see. See, she wants us to confess to her, but I don't care. Yeah, see, yeah, come over here. <laughs> Whoa, look, Jow Lantern. Hello, stupid. Take the hint? Really? Of all of us, you're the one who needs to learn how to read the room. Don't you need to guard the border? Monks already crossed the border. That's the only way to send Big G off. Uh huh, contradicting yourself again. As I explained, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was, once upon a time, more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor. What? When did she say this? I thought... Like, one of the first lines she said in the quest is about, I'm not a doctor! Like, and now suddenly, okay, whatever. During the Archon War... She's an idiot. ...of corpses covered the wilderness. People were plunged into misery and suffering. Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. I'm pretty sure that she mentioned earlier... Okay. Also, I don't know why, Pickle, you keep saying bipolar. Bipolar is mood swings, not contradictory lying idiot. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. Pu Zhongli. By that I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction. While death was coming back with a vengeance. Is she talking about Zhang Li or uh, Zhao? Like. It took a long, long time, longer than you'd think, to restore um. balance and reinstate the border. Without it, Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today. Neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. Can you reveal a bit more? Not a chance. Oh. Curiosity can be perilous, <laughs> you know. Don't forget my warning. The less you know, the better. I mean, that's basically any story quest in the entire game, right? Like, they introduce the character just out of nowhere, and they have, like, a cool story. They have some type of mystery about it, and then they're like, Just kidding! You want to find out more? Find out next time in Dragon Ball Z, and then there's never a next episode. What you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads, though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that. A funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. Yeah, I won't disagree. You're absolutely right. The funeral parlor is useless. We live in peaceful times, but this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. God, I hate her. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. Oh, I see. This entire quest was so that we could use Big G to lure his friend and we're going to kill and eat the other guy because that's what the funeral parlor is. Cannibals. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. You didn't say any name or... Okay. Okay, there. This is why I did this quest. Was for this precious chest. Ah, there we go. More fodder. <laughs> I mean, hot damn. It's a long quest though. Jesus Christ. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Remember, remember when I started streaming this and it was like super duper bright out and now it's dark out? I mean, that's also just because it's kind of winter right now. So it's like, the sun goes away in two seconds flat. We'll still roll for uh, whatever her name is. 
peanut or something. I think we did everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? Mm. But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. You were gonna bother them? That sounds pretty evil to me, Big G. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. And then after he finishes talking, he like just whoosh, fades away because he was a spirit. So you should also mind my warning, Mom. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. Again, like, is it just, is it her voice actor that doesn't, like, I'm not, it doesn't sell me, dude. Like, she is not intimidating at all. She's an idiot. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to It's not that her voice actor is bad or anything. It's, it's actually fine. Like, it's way better than Zhao. It's just... The way that she says things, it doesn't give off a creepy vibe at all, you know? See you later, Big G. <laughs> I'm gonna clip that. I need that as like my ringtone. See you later, Big G. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. Really? Cause I thought I thought you were all about us dying. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. See, and then this guy immediately just sells me on his character. Like, oh my god, this is such a sad story. All right. Just remove Hu Tao from this, and then... Oh my god. He's gone then. <sighs> oh my god. Like, there's so much more heart in these side characters. The five star character's the lamest one. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. Oh, good god. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Um, after each of us has started a family and built a career. We want both our families to spend the lantern right together. Oh my god. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest. They all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. This guy needs to be the real five-star character, dude. That's right. Also, think about Gun. this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. Shut up! Hey, stop ruining the moment. So enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Yeah, you know what? It sounded a lot better when he said it. Uh, thank you? <laughs> I'm clipping that as well. <laughs> Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wong Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. Oh my god, I love this guy. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. I'm... Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. Jesus! Yeah, that's right. Don't say anything to her, dude. Just ignore her and leave like I wish I could. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? Yeah, you promised us to get paid, though. I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. Is she gonna give us free pity for her roles, right? The biggest pity of all is your lack of help. <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I, I uh, just, I, I'm assuming that they're implying like we were getting her help to find our sister, but I didn't feel that like at any point. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border. 
Uh, sure. Called Dan's Leaf. Oh, stop saying creepy stuff! <laughs> Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. You pulled her on a single summon? Well, good job, man. You just got, like, the strongest character in the game. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there. Not even once. <laughs> Pickle. It's always Hu Tao. Never Hao Tao. Yeah, you're right. Maybe she's just really depressed and puts up a front. This means that becoming the director I'd be depressed if I was a loser like her, too. Decision for them. Left them with no regrets. And had no friends. Brum, brum, yet the butterfly flutters away. Follow me, young butterfly. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing here? Hello? Since I don't plan to ever come back here, I'd like to make the most of this opportunity and stay a bit longer. The director's right. Perhaps some time away will do me good. A new life awaits me. He is such a good voice actor, dude. Like, he needs to be... He's like a side character, and he needs to be getting paid as much as these five stars. Like, I swear to God. Then again, the five star characters are literally just grunting and shit. Okay, um... So technically, I do still gotta fight my weekly bosses and stuff, but I guess we can do that later in the week, because right now, like, I didn't expect this stream to be this long for that quest. It was still epic as hell, despite my, uh my complaints but anyways let's do a couple wishes i'm not gonna be doing that many though i don't want to be spending too many of my primos just because i don't let's just do it on the hill here whatever let's just do a 10 roll maybe up to 20. purple wow i like these blue weapons because i use them to level up my other weapons wow i already have her c6 cool all right um i mean the thing is like i don't think i'm even close to pity is the problem like i would have to just get like an absolutely lucky roll i guess i can go up to 30 on it because i i don't want to spend like too much you know on rolls just because i'm kind of gonna wait until inazuma but let's go yay purple I'm also not in my super wish spot, but I don't really care. Wow, that's the purple I got. Oh my god. It's okay. I'm just building my uh, pity towards like a character I actually want. Man alive. These are some terrible rules. Uh. Yeah, all right. We'll do it one more. Just one more, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to hold some restraint and not do any more. And it's just purple anyway. That's fine. Looks like I'm not getting Hu Tao. That's okay. I didn't really, like, I'm already pretty content with my group right now. And I don't really want to have to build another one. Is there a way I can skip all that? Jesus. Okay. Um... We can get a few rolls actually out of the shop, right? So I guess we could do it that way. Um, oh, right. These ended up coming around too. Aha. Watch, we'll get her on these rolls, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, the crit damage weapons are back. Oh, God. <sighs> That's okay. I don't really care about those weapons. I got plenty of weapons, dude. Let's just get some intertwined fates. Um, I want to see what's in the notices too. Oh, some more update stuff. Who cares? But we should get some free stuff. Whatever that is. Oh, the daily check-in. Ew. Hee <laughs> hee. I mean, that's okay. Like, even if I don't get her, I'm not too butthurt about it. Just because it's like, this is just building pity towards like another character I might actually want. Or I could just get a five star right now. <laughs> I low-key didn't want this. Oh my god, I'm gonna call it right here. It's gonna be Mona. 
because it's gonna be like if i got hu tao at least it would be a character i would build and like make powerful but i'm gonna get mona all i ever get is mona or chi chi oh never mind we got hu tao yay listen to my excitement <laughs> honestly i'm happy with that all right that's cool we got her uh 40 rolls so that's that's good i knew i would fucking get her because i didn't want her ah <sighs> All right, well, whatever. You know what? That's cool. Let's go. Strongest character in the game. No, I'm happy. I am. I'm just... I'm just playing it up with all the negativity. It's most of all, like... Wow, Genshin endgame problems. It, it, it's because I have to, like... Now I have to build another character and stuff. I mean, I guess it is slowly building a team. Like, I still don't have two teams for, uh... Uh, uh, what do you call it? For 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 the stupid spiral abyss. Let's just do this one last roll, and then we've got a couple rolls in the permit banner too. Let me get a five star here, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, hey, I'll take it. Five rolls on this. God, it's been so long since I got anything out of the perma banner. Why is Utah the strongest? Uh, because her scaling. Like, the way that she scales is just better than any of the era characters in the game. Um, I guess the best way to put it is Zhao, you know, I keep teasing about Zhao being useless. So, Zhao is actually an insanely powerful character, but the problem is that he's Animo, and Animo doesn't really have the best elemental reactions. Whereas Hu Tao is very, very similar to Zhao, but she's fire, and fire is, like, one of the most powerful elemental reactions in the entire game. All right, let's see how strong I can actually make her because I don't think I can get too many levels into her yet. I'm going to obviously throw her into my group, but oh, good God. Okay, that was kind of cute. Um, let's see, what weapon should I be using on her? Because <laughs> I guess I'll just be using this one. <laughs> Right? I mean, it's the only iron one I got. Otherwise, I would just be using Favonius, which is Angry G Recharge. But, I mean, I got the death match because I am not giving her the Crescent Pike. Actually, maybe I will. Depends if I swap Zhao out. I don't have, like, a good set for her at all. Oh, my God. I am not prepared for this at all, dude. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm not prepared for this. Like, look at this. I don't even have, like, enough for a full witch set. And that is, like, apparently that's her best set. <sighs> that one's not bad. Uh, I'm guessing I just build her, like, standard damage build. Nothing really super special about her. Give her Deluxe stuff? No, dude. That's, that's not how the game rolls. Uh-uh. All right, let's level her up a bit. See how, many, see how many levels I can get just based off of the crap that I just happen to have in my inventory. Okay, maybe I shouldn't level her. <laughs> I mean, I should have a bit of... All oh, right, she's gonna cost uh, Geo Bishop items. Right, 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 right. Oh my god, Jesus. Stop with that little ghost guy. He's freaking me out. I mean, I've got like so many like items to level up. I don't think I'll be able to max her out just because I can already see my fire gems are lacking and my Geo Bishop items are lacking. Please give me something to grind. And I will end up uh, after I get a full build for her. Uh, I will be able to actually make like a tutorial on her. So that'll be cool at least. Like I did want her obviously just as a character. It's just I wasn't really. I was going in with zero expectations because I didn't want to do too many uh, roles or anything. I know I can exchange the gems. Uh, the problem is that I haven't fought too many uh, world bosses that much. So I might not have enough gems. But we'll find out. 
<laughs> Stop! Jesus, okay. Like, I thought you were cool and you're not. Okay, fire gems, let's go. Oh my god, I mean, I have to try and get a good set for her. Jesus Christ. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh. Like, I just, I just maxed out my Zhao, and then I was working on Alberto and Jean, and, you know, I just maxed them out, and now I got another character to start maxing out. Ugh. Okay. Um, let's see. How does the gem re-rolling work? Because I needed these purple gems, right? Actually, maybe I can forge a bunch of them. Can I please not have to tap the trigger a billion times? I didn't end up fighting the uh, the fire flower that much, so I'm hoping that I've actually got enough gems. I doubt it, though. How do I get Genshin Impact? Uh, it's just off of their website. It's a free game, so. And then eventually, I'm going to have to level up Venti as well, just because when uh, we get the Dendro Archon, we're, uh, like, I definitely want to get a full Archon group in my inventory, you know? Bam, bam. Jesus Christ. And she scales off of crit damage. Of course, as only every five-star super powerful character should. Yee-hee. Alright, let's see. Do I have enough yet for this? Probably not. Ugh. Well, I can exchange a couple gems. Every journey has its final day. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. actually, I need a reforged gems. That's right. Oh, I gotta check the uh, cash shop too, cause I can get um, what is it? There's there's the dust, right? Wait, is that? Oh, that's water gems. Okay, good, because I don't want to convert my ice gems over, because we do have. Uh, Rosaria is coming, and that's actually a character that I do want, because she's like cool vampire assassin thing. I mean, we might be able to actually max her out already. That would be that would be pretty nuts, just off of side items. It's not like I was trying to grind for it or anything. Didn't you get two Ventis in, in uh, ten po- Yes, actually I did. Like, I got the most luck with Venti and I didn't even realize it. Like, my Venti can end up being pretty cracked. Oh, hey Val. Yeah, I got her. I got her at, uh, like, what was it, guys? Like, 30, 40 rolls? Right on the last ten pull because I wasn't gonna- Like, I, I was not intending to spend any more on her or anything. Uh, wait a minute. Oh god. Oh yeah, so I need some more Geo Bishop. And then Oh, Silk Flower? That's easy as hell to get. Oh my god, can her idle animation shut up, please. Okay, energy nectar. I need like ten of those. These gems are gonna be a problem. Those are gonna be a big problem. Okay. Uh Character Ascension. No, that's gonna be gems, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, I think it's character and weapon. What was the weirdo item I needed? Was it the blue one? It was these, right? The nectar? Oh my god, my brain is so small. I'm sorry. Oh, it's the blue one. Ooh, okay. So it is the nectar, it's just I needed the blue one. Okay. Uh, there it is. Uh, oh, okay, I got plenty of them. <laughs> I don't know how much I needed, but I'll just make 10 because I don't care. Uh, and then I needed... How many of the legendary gems and stuff? Oh, God. I gotta fight Geo Bishop, which I can do that today. Shut up! Silk Flower, which I can get a bunch of those by Wang Shu in, and I can just go into my friend's worlds and steal those today because nobody needs these. And then six of the legendary gems. All right. Oh, the talents. Oh, you're right. What do those cost? Please don't be a resource that I need for other characters. Um. Yeah, let's. Well, you know what? I'll level these up and we'll find out. Wait, what book is that actually? 
diligence. I don't have that many of those. Can you books? I mean, that's fine. Because I'm not leveling my Ganyu anymore. All I really do is get my abilities to like six. It's very hard pressed that I'll get any higher. Usually. I mean, her base attack is actually a really powerful combo, so why wouldn't I use it? Uh, You know what? I'll just grab this right now just because I need more talent books anyway so I can farm for that. I want... Oh, I wanted to see the uh, the boss math that it needed. Um, Takes the one I need for child. Uh, which one is that, Val? Like, which boss math is that? Do I have a bunch of them? I hope that I do. Is it this one? The shard? It's the shard? Okay, good, because I've got plenty of these. <laughs> the one resource that I have so many of. Alright, so I can make her pretty strong then. Cool. Okay. Um, I needed how many of these? Oh, I can forge a few right now. Give me, I trade you for your Zhongli mats. I mean, I would take it, honestly. I really would. Okay, yeah, let's see here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, I'm going to have to fight a bunch of bosses. These Electro Gems, I'm low-key trying to get, like, a bunch of Electro Gems for when Bale ends up getting added to the game. So that's, like, five, I think, I have? Let me just double check. Five. Oh, okay, so I can make one more. Cool. So we'll have enough gems to level her up, so that's neato. Just barely, Jesus Christ. And then before I forget, I need. Where is that gem dust crap? Is that in here? There it is. Don't forget to get your gem dust. Don't forget, boys. Ah, yes, here we go. I can get another one of these for a free roll. Let's do another roll. Just to build up karma. I don't I don't care. I know it's gonna be trash. Oh, we had a couple free rolls in here too. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's get a couple blues here. Or Mona again. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do I keep getting Mona? I don't want Mona. Why couldn't it have been to Luke or Jean? Ah! God damn it! Ah. Yeah, that's C4 Mona right there. Oh my god. Now, that was more than three pulls, Pickle, just in total. Oh my god, gross. Ugh. Okay, so I need this and then these. So, yeah, so I can level her up uh, in my own time. Try to figure out what artifacts to use for her and stuff like that. But next time you see her, uh, me streaming with uh, Hu Tao, she should actually be max level. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get her some artifacts. But thanks for coming out, gamers. This was a bit longer than I expected, but... Honestly, I didn't expect to pull her. <laughs> I mean, I'm satisfied in it, even though, you know, a lot of teasing towards her character and stuff like that. I'm still not super duper sold on it, but as far as combat instance is concerned, she's freaking cracked, dude. So, of course I'm going to use her in my comp. Anyways, thanks for coming out, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a good night, guys.